Hello, everybody, and welcome to our ninth game of Fatal One. Uh, how are you players doing today? Yes, uh, I think for half of our players here, it's like 5 a.m. All of four of our, three of our players? A couple of you are in the U.S. time zone, right? All right. Very nice. Uh, excellent. So, uh, why don't we introduce our characters, their classes, all of that fun stuff, and then hop into your untimely deaths. Uh, starting with Urok, the Skull Crusher. Oh my god, they can't hear you for some reason. What the hell's going on here? This is... I'm sorry, this is... Oh my god. I've ruined everything. I will fix this. Sorry, Jamie, I did not mean to cut you off there. Uh... Me anyway. There we go. Hey! Alright, players. Uh, how's it going, everybody? Better now that they can hear us. Much better. Yeah. Uh, clearly this game is being played very late at night. Uh, so, Jamie, also known as Urox Skull Culture Crusher, take it away. Hey, everyone. Uh, Jamie K here, back for another run. I'm playing Urox Skull Crusher, and I'm a half orc paladin of Grumsh. And today we're gonna massacre all everything we find in this dungeon. No fear. Brave, brave warrior. What about Gurok? It's pronounced Gurok. I'm so sorry. Yeah. He is a first level fighter, fifth level warlock, half orc, uh, and he is the chosen warrior of Grumsh. Lovely, lovely. And Rackthack. Hello, uh, I'm Old Mighty Freddy Gamer. I'm playing Rackthack Dragon Smoocher. And I'm the, I'm, I'm, I guess I'm one of the youngest of the group and I just love dragons. I want to squeeze them, hug them. I'm, I'm, I love dragons. Lovely. I can't wait till you find one. And last but not least, we have Uikor. People of the internet know me as Don Metalhole, but I'm playing Ikor, the Shaman of the Feast. And uh, yeah, I forgot uh, forgot to bring my lunch, so I'm going to nibble on some goblins. <laughs> Lovely. Are you sure you're not a half-elf? <laughs> uh, okay, so without further ado, let's jump into our dungeon. And... And let me drag us to the correct place, which is somewhere over here we go. Uh, all right, let's roll for initiative. And uh, current round is one. Round is one. Do, 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 do. All right, initiative orders are set. And dungeon music, the dungeon music cued. Uh, so first in the initiative order is Racktack. Uh, okay. Uh, um, uh, uh, I'm done. Uh, wonderful. <laughs> Kura, Guruk. Excellent. I will use my standard action to call upon Grumsh, my patron, and summon a large two-handed axe to Wonderful. my hands. And I will look at my at the my fellow orcs and say, "Brothers, we are here to find our missing chieftain and slay everything that gets in our way." Follow me. Grumsh. In this direction. There we go. Wonderful. Uh, next is Ikor. Uh, Ikor is baffled. Uh, <laughs> he was just nibbling on a goblin's toe <laughs> and preparing for a ritual that um, he was re required to be butt naked. So, yeah. He's just standing there butt naked, just nibbling on a goblin toe. You know. <laughs> Did you your full stuff? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, any any movement for you? 
No, it's baffled. Right, uh, last in the initiative order. The hell did I lose it? Uh, Urok. Come, my fellows. Grumsh has sent us here to decimate his enemies. We must charge forward. And with that, I will take a double move all the way onto the other side of the door. Alrighty then. And boop. And just keep moving. Done. Uh, okay. Next round. Rack back. Charge! 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 And I'm gonna dash into the door, and I'm done. <laughs> Rock. Hitting my hat on the door. <laughs> uh, I will... As they're running by me, I'll say, No, you're supposed to follow me! And then I will dash through the door. Oh, God. <laughs> Let's see. Uh-oh. There we go. And I will just rudely kind of shove Urok on my way by and just end up right in front of him. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, next up, Ikor. Okay. Come back, you weaklings. I want to I want some of this fun too. <laughs> and I hear charge uh, right next to rack tag. Yeah. All With this right. gems jangling all over. <laughs> Rock. Ah, at last, some of you weaklings have caught up. On my quest for uh, noble destruction, I shall go. And I move through the door. Lovely. And... Um, and then I'll stand here tentatively and just sort of wave my mole in the air in front of me. <laughs> there is nothing currently in front of you. Good. I'm uh, done then. Rack tack. Round three. Uh, Rektag is gonna open the door now that he sees, has uh, seen how it how it's been opened. He moves through, and he sees the room, and gets a happy grin. Oh yeah, the room where he needs to hold the wall. He needs to hold the wall. He needs to hold the wall, and uh, he's gonna dash over here. And I, he has a little trinket. It's a small hempen doll with a T-shirt. And on the t-shirt are three letters called AFP, and he just puts it against the wall. Now you're holding the wall, small one, until you get in here. That's it. Guruk? I don't know what AFP stands for, but I'm a little concerned. It's anything for profit from Discord. Shout out to you, man. I'm holding your wall. There we go. There we go. All right, I will rush after uh, rock and run through the door on the other side of the room and see him swing at air and say, Ha! You swing at nothing, coward! And I will just continue running past him and down this hallway ways. <laughs> uh, Uikor, you've lost your friends. You're alone. Don't leave me out on the smashing! And I charge through the door. Yeah. So, yeah. And I see the rat tag, and oh, you're slow, and <laughs> I just keep on charging. <sighs> All right. Uh, is that as far as you want to move? Is that it? Mm, no. I can, yeah, I guess. Uh, Urok. My lust for battle knows no bounds. You, however, foolish orc, have lost your weapon. <laughs> you should get around to getting another. That's right. As you went through that room, any magical spells or effects that you had on you disappeared. Totally forgot. <laughs> Happens all the time. Uh, next is... Next round in Rectac. Rectac. Uh, Rectac is going to run over to Uykor. Don't call me slow! And, uh, 
I'm gonna shove you with my shield <laughs> and uh, try to knock you prone. So, <laughs> is it 10 on the flat <laughs> I think uh, I just need to start summoning on. monsters. Hold on. Um, athletic check, yeah. Okay. Oh, damn. Oh, <sighs> Weekly. Oh, you make me angry. <laughs> you will. You don't like me when Smoochie is angry. I guess we have luck. There. Neil is missing his monster summoning charts. We will have no <laughs> monsters in the dungeon. This will be a great run. Quick, keep going through initiative. Let's just. Make a new table. Oh god, we are fucking <laughs> to start oh, all the monsters great. 20 minutes earlier. <laughs> uh, did you go through the door, Rackback, after you tried to shove this guy prone? I'm, uh, so, uh no. I, I, I don't think no. Movement. No. All right, Guru. Oh, wait. Well, um, I totally forgot, um, because I can, I can shove you three times because I have two attacks oh, on the shield oh. mastery. So, um, can I please do another never athletics check because I really want to knock your ass prone? <laughs> well, there you go. Down you are. <laughs> oh god, I think we get him punished for PvP. That's a thing. Good to know. I mean, no punishment has been met out yet. Uh, let's not jump the shark here. Uh, Uikor! <laughs> <laughs> no, it was Guruk's turn. I'm sorry. It was still oh, Guruk's yeah. turn. Yep. I, I will resummon my axe and continue moving down the hallway. Lovely. Okay, now it's Uikor's turn. Okay. Uh, Uikor will <laughs> stand up from being shot or knocked prone, and he will uh, just um, pass. Ragtag and go into the next room, Lovely. cursing, <laughs> cursing him while <laughs> going into the other room. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to stand here. No, but knocks me proud. <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> Uruk, you uh, are... Charging boldly forward, Uruk screams maniacally. Wonderful. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, next is Rackback. Uh, I would go uh, out here now. I would like to leave the room. Leave the room. You need me to do that for you. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Two, uh, three, four, five, six. And then I'm gonna dash past Oikor. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can, oh, mm, I can start to smell something. Hmm, the scent of ice. All right, Guruk. All right. I will I will cast a uh, detect magic, which I can do without expending a spell slot because I have the Elder Sight invocation. And I will put the spell. So that will last for up to 10 minutes. And I will sense the presence of magic within 30 feet of me. Uh, Eldritch Sight, does that... What... How, what is your casting requirement for that? Or just freeze these whenever you want? Uh, it's at will. will. It is whenever I want. Uh, that... Whenever you want, you whenever can make magic, miss, uh, detect magic be whatever you want. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Cool. Uh, and you are right here. Yep. You detect magic in a 30-foot range or no yes any magic within yep. 30 feet of you 
Uh, and it is blocked by some amount of stone and yes. lead and metal and whatnot. You see no magic, no unexpected magic in this corridor. Excellent. And I will just take my 30 feet movement. Wonderful. Uh, all right. We core. Uh, Ikor is going to walk one, two, three, and he's going to trip Rectac. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody trips me without consequences. <laughs> no! <laughs> what a lousy attempt, shaman. <laughs> okay. Urok, it's your turn. I will move through the door. You are and well dash ahead. over to here. Um, thirty. Uh, I guess I'll go here. Right. I'm uh, done. Next round. <laughs> uh, first person in that turn is Rack back. Okay. Uh, I'm going to dash as far as I can. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that's uh, the end of my round. <laughs> okay. Guruk? Uh, I will yell, Come back, you cowards! And then run after them. Mm. 10, 20, 30, 5, 10, 25, 30. All right, Ukor. Yes, uh, I will, sh he will show one, two, three, and go right about here. And by the way, uh, Ukor is a half orc, half ogre, so sometimes he's is very clever, but sometimes this ogre half just comes in and just, oh, I love to smash. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Urak, it's your turn. Urak will lean casually against his uh, maul and uh, ready a dash action for when a party member comes around the corner. Lovely. Next round, rack back. Um. Uh, Rectech is going to move three, four, five, six. And he's going to open the door. I'm going to move one, two, three, four, five, I guess, to here. Uruk and says, gonna... you are slow and cowardly. Keep off if you can and dash around the corner. <laughs> Did he just call me a coward? He just called you a coward, Guruk. <laughs> I will continue charging around this corner and through the door. Lovely. 30. And I need to move my screen so I can see where I'm going. And dash. Come on. Move. And that's where I will end. Uh, out of game question. The mouse scroll wheel moves windows up and down. Is there a shortcut or a hotkey to move windows left to right? Mm. I don't think so, okay. Not really. <sighs> shift, That's something we need in this world. Shift mouse wheel. Shift mouse <gasps> wheel. Was it? You oh are my, my fucking God. hero. I know, that's um, why I'm playing in this party. <laughs> it doesn't work in Firefox though, unfortunately. Oh, rip. Uh, how it do works you in like Chrome, it? Though, so. Yeah, it works in Chrome. That, that, that'll work for now. Okay, uh, Guruk, you just went. Uh, Uikor. Uh, how do you minimize the, the uh, pictures on the screen? Oh, you have to go to the options and set the mm. uh, chat avatars to name only. Yes, in the upper right corner, there's the the, the gear and disable all of that crap under voice and video nothing disabled i want to receive from others nothing chat avatars names only player video avatar default or whatevs okay 
Yes. Okay. Uh, Ikora will just follow ahead and dash through the door. Alrighty. And one, two, three. Come back, back you fool! <laughs> he shouts, and he's gonna end his turn. All right, Urok. <laughs> Uh, Uruk will step up to here and say, Okay, men, we stand at this door and then burst in as a group onto our enemies. And we'll ready a dash action for when somebody goes through the door. Okay. Box add on to do this? Oh my god, I'm totally gonna break the overlays for everyone. No. So, it's not all this game. Uh, temp. I am going to ruin everyone, all the viewers' experience of this because this will make everything much smoother in the long run. So I apologize, <laughs> players, or viewers. I, I sincerely apologize. I should have had this shit figured out ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Don't. Uh, we will make up with a glorious ode to Grumsh. So let's all sing Grumsh, Grumsh, Grumsh. Wow. Grumsh. Yeah. Oh well, yeah, it, it totally works now. It didn't now. work as well as I thought. Ever. <laughs> okay. Whew. The paladin and the shaman not singing about grooms. Just, just imagine that, you know. <laughs> uh, fan sinners. Uh, Urok, you have prepared your dash. It is yep. currently round eight, and Rackthack, part of the Rat Pack, is ready. <laughs> Um, a rack track is gonna move three, four, five, six squares, and uh, then I'm gonna move up to here. And uh, and it's uh, I smell things, dead things. That's it. Thanks for those sound effects, Guruk. It's your turn. I will move up right behind Rackthack and and I will say battle and glory for Grumps lie beyond this door. Prepare yourselves and I will ready a dash to move through the door if someone else moves through the door. All right, and Ikor. Uh, Ikor, oh, you said dead things? Oh, dead things, yummy. Mm. <laughs> And he's going to charge for some meat. Uh, uh, can I hold up the door or? You can no. go through the door. Nah, I'm just going to wait. Uh, Ukor? Urak, I mean? Um, for Grumps and uh, Ridian in action still. All right, and Rectac. Um, Rectac is uh, gonna join in uh, for Grumsh and ready in action to dash into the room to the first enemy he sees. Gurok. Uh, I will also ready in action to dash through the door to the nearest enemy. I will also say for Grumsh, and I will do the the Star Wars Tusken Raider thing with my axe. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ikor. Everyone else is ready to dash in. What are you gonna do? Uh, Ikor is going to, for Grums, and he's going to charge and open the door. All right. And hold it up for the rest of the party that's going to charge. Okay, everybody charges in somehow. At the same time, oh my God, I think we lost a person. Where are you hiding? Uh, we lost a token. Where'd you go? Oh God. <laughs> Can you see anything? No, I can't see him. And that's how the shaman went away. <laughs> no, I guess. He just got trampled. Uh, according to the rules of the game, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> he used his plane shift spell and ended up in sigil, walking through some magic door, and left us alone, surrounded in the dungeon. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We all dash as far off as we can, I think, hey, guys. As I far as you can is 30 feet. So up to there. Yeah. Oh. Uh, 
so then you'll go here, and you'll go here, and you're holding the door ish. So it's time for the battle music. Uh, everybody, roll initiative because there's a banshee and two mummies in this room, and they are not yeah. the friendly kind of banshee and mummy. <laughs> Initiative, initiative, and initiative. Sort. And we are currently on round 10. All right, first person is Gurok. What are you gonna do, Excellent. Gurok? I will move up to this ghostly creature and I will take my great axe and cleave into it twice. Good luck. Uh, 13, is, 10 is a miss, but 13 is a hit. Excellent. And this is my packed weapon, so it is a magic weapon. Lovely. Uh, 10 points of slashing damage. Very nice. God, the table's a mess. Banshee, 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 Banshee. There she is. All right, Urok. Uh, yes, Uruk will step up to the Banshee and start smashing it mightily with his maul. Please do so. Uh, 11 will be no good, but a 14 will hit it. For, are you serious? <laughs> for a reduced two points of damage. <laughs> the Banshee doesn't really care. Uh, first up is this mummy who is going to... Uh, you know, you're all the same. The mummy is an equal opportunity attacker. So it comes over here to Ukor. Multi-attacks using first its dreadful glare on you, Ikor. Uh, you need to make a wisdom saving throw, DC 11, or become frightened until the end of the mummy's next turn. You pass. Yes. Lovely. Uh, and then it will just rotting fist you with a 13 to hit. Which I believe is miss. And it's your turn, Ikor. Uh, Ikor is enraged because this is not good, yummy. And he will disengage up here. <laughs> <laughs> not good yummy or not good mummy? <laughs> <laughs> oh. By the way, stream, that five was ridiculous because I deal 2d6 plus free damage and I get to reroll all my ones and twos, which then also got ones and twos. <laughs> yes, mm -hmm. yes, it did. In fact, the damage went down from six to four, to six to five. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> oh, no, this is, yeah, this is coming out for chat. Perfect. <laughs> Uh, all right, Ikor, your turn is over. Yes. Uh, next up is Rakthak. Uh, Rakthak is going to use his bonus action to rage and move up to uh, 5, 10, 50, move up to here mm -hmm. and going to smash the Banshee two times with his Warhammer. That'll hit it, and that'll hit it. Well, sadly, it's not a magical weapon. And there's damage missing, just so you know. What sort uh, of damage? It, four points of damage are missing. I um, uh, I'm, I have the dueling fighting style, mm. so I give, I give plus two damage, and I'm raging, which is two damage again. That's so not, each of those should be a plus four. Yes. So it should be a, a 12 and a 15. Yes. Okay, which Half. becomes a six and a seven. Yeah. So minus six, minus seven. Okay. Next up is the second mummy, who, seeing the first one, 
uh, is going to come over here next to Ikor. It will then dreadful glare at Rakthak. Uh, give me a wisdom saving throw. Sure. Uh, please add plus two because of the Paladin aura. It's free. Uh, plus three, three because three. of the Paladin aura. Yes. Uh, Twelve. Saved. Whew. And then it will Rotting Fist. Shaman the strength gets. of Grumpsh. Does a 14 saying. hit you, Mr. Shaman? No. Ugh. Uh, you have two initiatives. What? We're really? just going to get rid of your lower initiative. Oh, you know what I think it is? I saw some weird thing. I think when I moved your tokens through the door, your other token got put off screen to the right. And so it's still somewhere, but it's like... You know, uh. off screen. All right, so the Banshee is next. Uh, and the Banshee is going to use its whale once a day. Provided that she isn't in sunlight, it has no effect on constructs or undead. All other creatures within 30 feet of her that can hear her must make a DC 13 constitution saving throw. On a fail, you drop to zero HP. Uh, this is it, guys. Oh, oh Gurog. God. Oh God. I knew one of these days it would get someone. Wow. What oh, the hell? I wish I could give you all this advantage, but Gurok, you're at zero hit points. Oh, it's the most beautiful Banshee I've ever seen. Mm. Everybody else, please take 14 points of psychic damage. Oh God, this is the beast of a Banshee. Ow. Oof. Uh, Gurok is a half orc, so can Come back to one yes. of these, though, please. Ooh, what is the wording on that? Is it when you were hit with a weapon? Um, no, it's... I will put that in the chat. When you are reduced to zero hit points but not killed outright, you can drop to one hit point instead. Ooh. I will do that. I will be at one hit point. All right. All right, you're at one HP. Uh, let's give you one. And it is your turn. Excellent. Uh, I will s f just step a little up here and just glare daggers at this banshee. <laughs> and I will make two attacks using Great Weapon Master. Uh, and I believe I should have advantage because our barbarian is raging and he has um, the totem. Ooh, so, he totem. so he provides advantage. To it for his allies on any creature next to him. Ooh. Oh, a couple. Oops. I got turned advantage on. Here we go. Uh, 13 will hit. Measly 12 okay. AC. And do you want to just use the 19? Because. Uh, yeah, that's sure, that's fine. All right, cool. So two of these damages. <sighs> oh, my and God. And this is a magic <laughs> weapon. So that is 46 damage. 46? And then I will use the rest of my movement after that uh, to... Well, 46 kills the Banshee. Oh. Yep. Nice. And I have the Dark One's Blessing, so I will get six or... Er, yep, yeah, six, six temporary hit points. From nice. That, killing that. And I will just move, take the rest of my movement, to move on up here. That is it. <sighs> I wish you had gone to zero. Rock, <laughs> it's your turn. Rock will charge at this mummy and take another two swings with his maul. Uh, oh my god. Nope, nope, and nope. <laughs> Sorry. The mummy, one of these mummies, is going to come up to here. Uh, and it's going to attack Urok. With, first with a dreadful glare. You know, uh, yeah. That I can see within 30 feet of it. Yes. Okay. Yep. Fine. And then it hits you with a 21 to hit. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Or... Uh, 23 points of damage. 
And I have to make a con save, which I fail. <gasps> the cursed target can't regain hit points, and its hit point maximum decreases by... doesn't matter for that. Um, but you are no longer able to gain HP. Yeah, it's pretty bad. I'm going to put a little little token on you that uh, indicates no more HP for you, buddy. God, mummies. Finally, people are failing saving throws in this room. It was supposed to be a dangerous room, and everyone's gotten past it very easily until today. Until Beautiful. today. All right, Ikor. Ikor will produce flame at the mummy to... Eurox, uh left, yeah. Okay. I need to make a saving throw, right? Is that how it works? DC 13 dex save. Bring up my mummies. And it passes. Yeah. Uh, next up is Raktak. Raktak is uh, going to run over to this mummy. And he's going to look at the mummy and say, Oh, something to play with. <laughs> and he's going to grapple the mummy. Grapple the mummy. Yeah, sure. I love to grapple the mummy. Come on, let's play with your racks, mummy. Let's unroll you. Now, if this was second edition, you would get mummy rot just by, by grappling with him. Stupid nah. fifth edition. Ugh, you grapple the mummy successfully. Great. And Ugh. I'm going to use um, two attacks to try to knock it prone. 24 and 21. Uh, well, the 24 hits. It's two, oh, these two are just, uh, right, right. One with uh, the shield and one with my second attack. Well, the mummy's now prone, and uh, in order for it to be prone while you're grappling it, you're going to have to go prone to Go prone to No. How do, you grapple, no. how do you grapple someone who's prone when you're standing? Uh, I just, uh, just uh, it. hold its legs. <laughs> It's, it's not, you don't have to be prone to, to knock someone prone. It's, that's on the rules, so. It the mummy specifically has... says you don't, well, okay, but if you're going to be, you don't have to be prone to knock them prone, but if you want to maintain your grapple with the mummy, you have to be like prone or on your knees. Maybe we can give you a half prone, a squatted position, but I take how do you like- I half prone. How do you... I, take, I, I take being on my knees. That's okay, but uh, the thing is this, um, the mummy now has movement zero, yeah. and it can't stand up because it's grappled. Right. So, yeah, that's that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to hold it in place for disadvantage, okay. and it not moving anywhere. All right. That's then I'm done. Well, it's the mummy's turn. Uh, it is prone, and its speed is zero. Uh, and if your speed is zero, you cannot stand up. I think that's a rule. I, that sounds like a real yeah. rule. Yeah, it takes half your movement, so 15. Well, sadly. I mean, half a zero is zero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think I recall saying that. I'm not gonna bother checking it up. Uh, so the mummy has gets disadvantage on attacks against you. That seems fair. Mm -hmm. uh, and so it will. You haven't passed a save versus Dreadful Glare yet, have you, Rekvac? Uh, no. He's gonna Dreadful Glare you. Come on. <gasps> uh, I'm you fearful. are frightened until the start of the mummy's next turn. Uh, if it fails by five or more, it is also paralyzed for the duration. No, I didn't, didn't fail because... because plus three. Oh, oh no. so close. Okay. Ooh. You're just frightened of the mummy. So I can't move near it? <laughs> and you have, you, have a, you have disadvantage on ability checks and attack rolls while the source of your fear is within sight and you you cannot okay. willingly move closer to it. No, I can't well, move right right closer to anything they grappling <sighs> I'm not gonna kiss it! I'm not gonna kiss it! This is a good it. lesson, no. kids. Just, just get the source of your fear and grab it. Grapple it. Yeah. So. <laughs> 
All right, it is now going to punch you with its fist, uh, which is a miss. Nope. All right, next round, Guruk. Guruk. All right, I'm going to... Uh, move a little bit. I'm going to move in 20, 25. And I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to hold my action to cast a fireball so that when Uruk gets away from the mummies, I will cast fireball. Cool, Leo. Uruk, it's your turn. Uh, Uruk is going to take the attack of opportunity from the mummy on the left and step here. All right, that attack of opportunity comes at disadvantage. Uh, so it's probably not going to hit you. Hopefully not. Yeah. Double ones! <laughs> Wouldn't hit Good. no matter what. And then he'll start swinging. Well, I guess we do the fireball now. Yes, fireball? Yep. So I'm placing the fireball right here. Yeah, that sounds like a good spot. <laughs> Very. Oh, these are all twenty. Interesting. Yeah, five E grids are weird. Yeah, but... five E grids yeah. are weird. So, the point is, I want to catch the mummies and not my friends, if possible. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, roll up a fireball. That did not work. Okay. And, uh... So the Just mummies the both need to make dexterity saves. So this is for the one on the left. This is for the one yep. on the right. So it is DC 12 and it will do is HD6 fire damage. Mm. Uh, Six. Wow. So Damn. the one on the left passes, so it takes half damage, but it's vulnerable to fire. So it takes yeah. double damage. So it just takes 37. And the other takes 74, uh, 76. The <laughs> other one takes no, 74 no, damage. Uh, yeah, 74 damage. <laughs> which actually only barely kills it. Um, Excellent. I so will refresh my temporary hit points even though I never lost them. Barak looks around bemusedly at his sudden lack of foes and steps back next to this mummy and will start swinging with advantage. Yes, finally. Uh, right. That's a bunch of damage. You probably... Uh, 11 in total, mm -hmm. I believe. Yeah, because that's 6 and 5 is 11. Not quite dead yet. But getting and that's close. All. Uh, all right, Ikor. Ikor is going to use Produce Flame uh, on the mummy. Okay. Uh, mummy needs to make a dex save, is it? No. That's oh, it's a, hit. a roll to hit. Got it. Uh, 12 will hit. Yeah. Unfortunately. Nice. Do less than 5 damage. No. 20. <laughs> All right, you got it. But not without taking some heavy damage here. Uh, one of you can no longer heal, and the other one of you is at one hit point. So good job, Mummy and Banshee. Uh, let's go back to regular music. We need like a fade out button on this music here. Uh, anywho, it, I believe it is currently Rakthak's turn. Uh, Rakthak is, oh, man, oh, they stink. Uh, uh, there's another smell up north. Uh, Gurok, you don't look so good. Come on over here. Uh, will do, buddy. <laughs> right, Gurok, it's your turn. <laughs> I will walk over 
to the rest of my party. And then I will uh, take a healing potion and get 2d4 plus 2 hit points. <laughs> Alrighty. Seven hit points for me. Nice. Very nice. Uh, Urok. Urok will collapse on the ground in front of Rackthack, saying, Help me, I am cursed into this pain. And in my turn. Ikor. Uh, Ikor will take the rags of the mummy and strap it around him <laughs> so he doesn't... It's completely naked. <laughs> <laughs> so... <laughs> you're gonna have to take more than one round to do that, to undress a mummy and dress yourself. Um, maybe like a minute to, to do this. Uh, I think that's being... Uh, I mean, like, if you're just trying to, like, wrap up your junk, you can do it can in a minute. Them? If you want to, like, wrap your minute? whole self up, it's probably going to take, like, ten minutes with the help of your friend, so... We uh, take the minute. The one minute? Okay. Um... Can you give Come me, back. like, a... a DC 11 con saving throw? <laughs> <laughs> if you get Mummy Rod, I'm gonna... I'm sorry, DC 12 con saving throw. Come on. You can do it. Let's see. You have plus three for being close to the Paladin. Yeah, it's easy every time. Just don't roll a one. All right. Yeah. No. Yeah. Nothing interesting happens whatsoever. <laughs> mm. <Ooh>. Looks good. <laughs> Fitting to a priest of your choice. We're just gonna let a minute pass here, and uh, <laughs> we're actually gonna go to our, our first break here. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> 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 While you wrap yourself in the mummy's fabrics. Uh, <laughs> cindered fabrics, I might say. Uh, so we'll see you guys in a few minutes on the other side of a break. Bye-bye. Nope, nope, sorry, sorry, that's wrong. Ignore that. All right, we'll see you guys soon.